Hello and welcome to Broadsword Wargaming. In this video, I'm gonna talk about ultra, hyper, amazing, cheap, fast and easy realistic trees. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Oliver and yes, we're talking about trees. There are tons of tree videos out there, but I have found the best ones, the best way to do it, and even I can do them. And that means it's idiot proof. So I will show you the equipment and the materials I'm using, take you through the process, and then give you a little round out at the end um, and go from there. So catch you guys at the end. These are the Woodland Scenic Armatures. There's a couple of different ones. These are the Pine ones. I've also got some other ones. I'll put them in the links below. You can, you can purchase them through the Amazon affiliate stuff down there. These are not too expensive. They're like 10 or 11 pound a set or a pack and they do the job perfectly. Get some super glue and some activator. I would get them out, glue them down onto the little bases they come with and then glue those bases onto something else. Now I would normally use two P pieces, but having moved to Ireland, I don't have any anymore. So uh, I'm just gonna stick them down to some 60 mil MDF bases. I would then actually cut off any of the flash, I chop off a load of branches because otherwise there's too many branches, the trees get really, really full. And the moss we're gonna use here is quite like thick and does fluff out and puff up. So you don't really want too many branches because it's gonna look too full. So trim off a load of those, shave off any of the little flash parts that come with it or the flat lines, just in case. I mean, it takes a couple of minutes to do it, so you might as well, just in case you see that bit of chunk and it will just annoy you in the future because you can't really go back and do anything about it. Next step is just twisting the armatures around. Give them a good twist. You can sort of keep going until you've got all the arms pointing, the little trunks almost, pointing at different angles. You want to sort of have a good spread around the tree. So they're going at all different sides, up and around, twisting so no two really go in the same position if possible. And then bend them down a tiny bit. Imagine like a Christmas tree, how it has sort of a triangle at the top and then continues to sort of get fatter as it goes out to the bottom. That's what we're going for here. You can put a kink in the top of the armature if you like, so the sort of the tree has a bend in. I mean, again, trees do kind of grow in funny positions, so. But for this one, I'm gonna keep it fairly simple and do this. So once you've got those arms in place, the next step is to get the modeling compound. This is Luke's APS stuff. Um, it's kind of a casting plaster mixed with a particular type of insulation foam. Really easy to use. Get some out, give it a good stir around, and then stick some water in it relatively thick. I, I did make it a little too thin to begin with, so I actually added a little bit more into it, but really easy to use. You get a couple of minutes, or maybe five, 10 minutes of this before it starts to really go off. Great for doing boards and things, but actually really good for basing these trees. Whack a load of this down on the MDF, and then to thicken the branches up a little bit, because the bottom ends will still will show, I would put this halfway up the trunks, and you know, it does texture itself, so give it a good squidge around, and you can do that. You don't really need to be using a scalpel on this. You're not gonna see these chunks in any great detail, but if you want them a bit thicker, because maybe, you know, trees come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Okay, we've got thicker chunks now. This is set and dried. You can then get the spray cans out. I'm just using cheap spray cans from the pound shop. I've got a black, a gray, and a brown. Now trees come in again in different colors. If you want like birches, you, you might want more white, or if you want pine trees, or if you want, I don't even know all the types of trees. I'm not a treeographer. Is that even a word? It's definitely not a word. Now, trees do kind of look a greyish brown, so give them a good black spray just underneath to catch everything so you get those nice shadows. Then I'm using a bit of grey, not a lot here, just from like an angle above, just the odd spray around. Don't mind if it's a bit dotty because it adds a bit of texture because again, trees aren't smooth. Then use the brown and do a similar thing. You should end up with a tree looking a little bit like this. They actually already look pretty cool. I'm not even gonna do any more to these chunks. You can if you want whack a wash over, but I don't really see the point because once it's full, you won't really see much of this. So the next step is to get the glues out. Now this is a really, really goopy glue. It's an instant contact adhesive uh, made by Everbuild. Again, you can buy this through the Geek Gaming store. It's weirdly horrible, sticky stuff, kind of like spider webs in the end. You need to sort of wrap it round a couple of the branches together and then stick this moss on. 
Now the moss, I'm not really sure what it is, but it comes apart, you can break it apart as a big block. It comes in a sheet, so you can break it apart. Then do make sure to pull it apart a little bit more, otherwise it's a bit flat and compressed, and you don't really want that, because it starts to look like little leaves and little branches and things, and it looks really cool. It's got a nice color to it already. Get the Goopy contact adhesive, wrap it round a couple of the branches and then stick this to it. And pull it apart, rip it, break it, pull off any bits that look weird. You can do really whatever you want to do with this and do this to all of the branches. So it starts to look a bit like a canopy now. You, you can still see through the tree a little bit at this point. It's not really full, it's not fluffed out, but make sure you keep breaking it apart and keep spreading it out nicely. Get every single chunk if you can. That's the tree now with those, the moss put on. Flocking. So here, I've got a couple of different flocks. I've got the mid flocks and the light flocks. Again, you could get some dark if you wanted. You could get some more blacker stuff. It depends what color you want your trees to be, but I'm going for that just sort of generic green tree, I guess springtime or maybe autumn with a slight brown tinge if you want. And I'm actually using some matte varnish. This is like just any varnish you can buy. I guess you want like yacht varnish would be the real stuff to get, but it's a bit sticky still, a bit tacky. Spray some of this varnish on around the tree and that will allow you to then drop on the flock as you like. So this will make it look a bit more like leaves, it'll add a bit more colour to it. Give it a flock, try and get the darker bits on the inside as you then use the lighter flock to sort of spread out and sort of give a nice highlight to this tree. I quite like having a bit of a mix here. I've got some of the bits of moss left over. It's still kind of like the earthy bits of that and the small bits. And then I sort of keep chucking it on any colour I like um, just to keep filling the tree out. And then stick a bit underneath. You will still be able to see probably a bit of the goopy glue that won't dry clear or anything, that's just how it looks. So you'll still be able to see a bit of that underneath the tree. So turn the tree upside down, drop a load of flock on there, stick some more moss on that if you like, and you'll be able to hide that in with the rest of the tree. You won't see it afterwards once it's dried. When you're happy with that, give it another spray with the varnish. That'll just help tie it down and seal it again. Then use a, another varnish, or you can use watered down PVA. I've actually got watered down PVA in here. It will go a sort of white because the PVA is wet and it won't have set, but it will dry clear. The only other thing I would suggest is possibly using a dab of super glue on some of the bigger branches because mine here have been done for over a year now. I've taken them away and I've traveled around with them, but occasionally the moss stuff will come off. So if you're ever worried about something not being super sturdy, do use a drop of super glue around. Don't be afraid to do that. And that'll just even, that'll help it stay even more along with the tacky glue. Having already done the bases with a good brown and you've got your greys and your blacks, but I made sure I gave the bases a good spray with the brown. I've got brown bases already. I don't need to paint anything, which is ideal. I then got the pine floor covering from Luke's range and I just throw this on. Easy, that's all you really got to do. Stick on some of the flocks if you like. I've got a couple of the dead tufts. These are 10 mil dead tufts. I thought I'd make the two sticky looking ones. I actually thought I'd have some dead looking chunks. So I, Gave a bit of PVA glue around the branches that were there. There's no moss on these and dropped some flock over those. So it sort of looked a bit more like a mossy, moldy tree. And then I stuck a dead tuft at the bottom and they quite look quite swampy now. So I can use that for a different board. So I'm really happy with those. Not much more to do with these trees. That's pretty much it. So there you go. Finished trees, what a forest. I can't see the wood through the wood. Well, there you have it, that's it. Tree mania, what a fest. Um, I've now got a full forest of trees, a couple of different marshy looking ones because they've ended up looking that way and I think that's awesome. I've got my general, like the, the main tree I've just done today is a little bit greener than my other trees, but that's not a problem because not all trees are the same color. So um, yeah, cheap, fast and easy, awesome. Uh, I have a link below to Geek Gaming for all of the products used in this video. Now, I'm not just doing this to sell you something. I mean, I make a couple of percent back. It doesn't really make too big a difference, but it helps support the channel. So I do appreciate that. But I wouldn't do this video unless I thought these were awesome trees. I've not been able to find or make better trees than this for this kind of money. I actually did do a video on basing your terrain. So it's slightly different to this, but same sort of concept. Um, but you, cause it's sort of basing more than one tree. As you can see, most of my trees are sort of in pairs of twos or single ones. So do check that video out as well. It's just up there. And yeah, 
I would appreciate your support, guys. I've got a Patreon. You can buy the armatures through the Amazon affiliate link. You can buy all of the products you need through the Loops APS Geek Gaming link. Um, love it. Love the trees and I hope you guys do too. If you do, please remember to like, share, subscribe and hit the alarm bell for more videos to come. I will be doing another video next week and you will see these trees in action in various battle reports throughout the channel. So thank you very much and I'll catch you in another video. Take care. Thank you.